boys and girls. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a verse in the Bible that tells us not to worry. It's Philippians 4, 6. And it says, Don't worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and thanksgiving, let God know what it is that you need. So this verse is talking about not worrying. And Jesus, he talked about it once. He said, no matter how much you worry, it can't make you even an inch taller. Meaning that all the worrying in the world can't solve even an inch of your problems. So, he also said to look at the birds as an example. Do you ever see a bird sitting over there like, where am I going to find my food? Where am I going to get my next meal? Where am I going to build my nest? Of course not. Because the bird relies on God to give it everything that it needs. So the bird's not worried about where it's going to get its next meal. It just knows that God's going to provide it. He said to also to look at the ground and to look at the flowers. The flowers, you don't see them over there spinning and working and worrying about looking pretty. They just know that's what God made them to do, and they do it. So whenever you see birds and flowers, I want you to think about how you're not supposed to worry that you're just supposed to do what it is God made you to do, and that's trust in Him. So, to help us remember this, I'm going to show you all how to do a little craft and make flowers so you can look at them and remember that even in this time, and we're all going through a kind of rough time right now, and we might be worried about a lot of things, and we might all be getting irritated about stuff and having to stay inside, but we're going to make this craft, and whenever you see the flowers and whenever you see the birds outside, I want you to think about how God's told us not to worry, but to trust in Him. So, for the craft, you're going to need a toilet paper tube, a piece of paper, a glue bottle, well, <laughs> glue, a pencil, some scissors, and some markers. So, after you go and get all your supplies, you can come back to the video and see how to make it. The first step is you're wanting to color in with your markers the toilet paper tube. You're going to want to make some leaves for your flowers, so color the bottom part green, and you can do the top part whatever color you want until you've got it all nice and colored in. Once you've got it all nice and colored in, you want to go ahead and draw out your flower outline on the paper. So you want to, I know a little hump of dirt, and then make a stem with a little dot for the center. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off a little strip of the toilet paper tube. And that's going to be your petal. And you're going to want to do this and make a couple of petals. You can make some petals big, some petals small. So when you've got all your petals cut out, and whenever you've cut out your leaves too, you can glue them onto the paper. Now this is going to have to set and dry for a while. And you're going to glue them all around the little center of the flower that you drew. Just like that. Because you might have to use a little bit extra glue for this, you're going to want to let it set and dry. And then, you'll have your flower. And so whenever you see the flower that you've made, or you see any real flower and real bird, think about God and think about all that he's done for you in the past and how that means that you shouldn't have to worry now. And after it's done drying, you can draw in the sky and color all around it. Maybe even draw a bird in there. And there you have a flower. And like
like I say, when it dries, you can go through and like darken your stem and color in the sky. But there you go. All right, until next time.